Hello everyone, it's Dr. Meyer here with a third installment on regular meter. More identification practice. In fact, this whole video is devoted to practicing identifying regular meters. Let's get going. If you haven't watched the second video in this series on how to visually identify meter, check the link in the description and watch that video before you proceed here. For a refresher, when visually identifying meter, we want to look for beaming as that's going to help us identify the largest beat duration. Using the meter chart, you can find whether the largest beat is subdivided by two or three to determine whether you have simple or a compound meter. Ties will also help you to determine the beat as rhythms will never be written to obscure the given meter. Here's a reminder on that meter signature chart. We've got duple, triple, and quadruple in both simple and compound meters. Remember, simple has a subdivision of two, and compound has a subdivision of three. Simple has a top number that reflects the actual number of beats per measure, where compound has a top number that reflects the number of subdivisions per measure. Because remember, compound meter has a big beat, which is dotted. Let's dive into those practice examples now. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time. You should have found these three beamed groups, which each equal one eighth note in duration. With three eighth note beats in simple subdivision, you should have gotten three eight meter. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time. You should have found these two beamed groups which each equal one dotted quarter note in duration. With two dotted quarter beats in compound subdivision, you should have gotten six eight meter. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time. You should have found these two beamed groups which each equal one dotted half note in duration. With two dotted half note beats in compound subdivision, you should have found six four meter. What's the meter? You should have found these two beamed groups, which each equal one quarter note in duration. Dividing up the rhythms and the rest of the measure, we can find two more quarter note beats. With four quarter note beats in simple subdivision, you should have found common time, four four meter. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time. You'll notice that this measure has only one beamed group throughout but we know that we must have either two, three, or four beats in regular meter. You should have found these three beamed groups with each equaling one eighth note apiece. So with three eighth note beats in simple subdivision, you should have gotten three eight meter. This looks a little bit different from our first example because three eight is sometimes felt in one beat or in a one gesture. This beaming reflects that feeling, so it is a little bit atypical for simple meter beaming, but it is definitely still in simple meter of three. Now it's time to challenge yourself. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time. You could have found these two beamed groups in the treble clef separated by a tie. Or you could have found these two groups in the bass line connected by a tie, each equaling one dotted quarter note in duration. Ties two ways. With two dotted quarter beats in compound subdivision, you should have gotten six eight meter. Here's another challenge with a less common regular meter. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time.
you should have found these four beamed groups, with each equaling one dotted eighth note in duration. With four dotted eighth note beats in compound subdivision, you should have gotten 12 16 meter. Here's your final challenge example. What's the meter? Pause now and take your time. You should have found this beamed group, which equals one half note in duration. Searching the rest of the measure for groups, we find that two more half note duration groups appear on the sides. With three half note beats in simple subdivision, you should have gotten three two meter. Well, I hope you enjoyed a little extra meter identification practice. Remember that simple and compound meters designate different aspects of the meter, that is, overall beats versus the subdivision of those beats. Look for beaming groups to help you identify the overall beat, and look into the subdivision, whether it's groups of two or groups of three. Don't make up an answer. Use the details of the rhythms to help you make an educated decision. As always, keep practicing and you'll be a meter pro in no time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.